Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of Zilfit TV. My name is Azmir and today we are going to unwrap this Eleco barbell lifter. As usual, some background story on why we got this particular barbell lifter, um, especially when we already have the old version. And I guess I've just answered the question because we wanted the new one. <laughs> also because we've moved to this new area, which in my opinion is better than the two uh, showrooms that we had previously. So we also wanted to update all the equipment and we bought a few new items, new things that Eleco has um, uh, come out with over the last few months, uh, especially specifically um, this year. But this private lifter has been around for quite some time, but I uh, couldn't justify the uh, getting one um, because of the, the price. It is not cheap, just like any of the other Eleco uh, <laughs> equipment. But I'm excited to actually unwrap this and uh, start using it or allow our members to, to use it uh, once we open up the, the gym. I've only seen this once in Korea while visiting our distributor there. And um, at that time, uh, if you recall, uh, they just had uh, a lot of these uh, plates on the floor, which was dusty because they were under renovation. So this will be the first time that I'm seeing this like brand new. And um, let's just unwrap this and see what's inside. Now, if you order just this particular um, barbell lifter, you probably, um, you probably would have shipped this to you in a box or, or something. But because I got it through one of my orders, so it was included inside one of the uh, pallets. And uh, so it was just wrapped in this um, bubble wrap, okay? All right, so let me just unwrap this now. This will be probably the easiest unwrapping ever, hopefully. There you go. The handle is um, wrapped together with the uh, the base. Oh, let me just... Whoa! Didn't expect that to be this heavy. Just remove the bubble wrap. Still in the frame. Okay. So they wrapped, they used saran wrap around the um, logo to ensure that it's not scratched or damaged during transport. Just from first impression itself, um, this looks a lot sturdier than the previous version. Okay, so here you have the handle and they've also included this, not included, they put this to this blue uh, styrofoam, I think, just to protect the handle. Wow, the knurling on this, it's amazing. This would be what, 32 mm? This is definitely not the size of a barbell, but the knurling, my God. Whew, feels good. This is like, this is really solid. The uh, previous version feels a bit hollow. I think this is like a piece of, can you hear that? It's very solid. It says on here, maximum load is 450kg. So, I don't think most of you should be worried about how much this thing can handle because none of us mortals can actually deadlift that much. Mm, two more to go. Oh. 
Okay. I can see there's a screw here. So I'm assuming, yes, I have to take this out, put the handle in and then screw them together. Okay, so it uses an Allen key and according to my kit here, it says size number six. If I don't, you know, mistakenly put the wrong size in the wrong hole, but it says number six. This is like pretty straightforward. Right. That's the uh, screw. Oh, this thing is really heavy. Well, not really heavy, but heavy. I wonder if there's a way, if there's, we we'll just stick it in, doesn't matter which way. Right. Oh, nice. Feels like a glove. Now to tighten it up. And I think that's it. Uh, just probably one more turn. Yep, that's it. So there's nothing much to this. Um, <laughs> there's nothing much I can say about it anyway. But what I want to do is that I want to compare this with the old version. Now, the, the old bubble lifter that I have is in the weightlifting area, so it's downstairs and I'm not going to carry it up, up here. But um, just um, a few points to note uh, that this thing is feels and looks more sturdy than, sturdier than the, the previous version. The wheels are a lot smoother. It reminds me of the, uh, my rollerblades, you know, um, last time when I used to skate. Uh, but uh, so so it's it's smooth. I think you use uh, bearing uh, ball bearings or something like that. I don't know. And um, the one that uh, the previous version, I think it has like this plastic wheels, um, which which I will show show, show you later. Um, apart from that, I'm not too sure what is the uh, maximum load for the old one, but it has held up over the years. And uh, mostly, uh, it was used in, during uh, when we were located in uh, Space U8. And we had powerlifters there who used to deadlift, I don't know, um, maybe 170 and above, 200. We've had one guy who actually deadlifted 300 plus there. It has held up uh, through all those um, lifts and use, right? So uh, I'm not too worried about how this thing will hold up because it's, inshallah, it's definitely going to be uh, so much uh, stronger than uh, the old one. So let's just check out the one downstairs and um, I'll take some close up so that you can compare it for yourself. I have here two barbell lifters. One is the old model of the Helico barbell lifter and one is a knockoff which I tried to make uh, here in Malaysia. Now let's just go through the Helico's uh, old version of the uh, barbell lifter. As you can see, uh, everything from the handle, all the way to the the base of the barbell lifter is um, not as robust, not as for, uh, solid as the the newer model, right? But it's not to say that this thing cannot handle the abuse. It it has, and uh, I'm sure it will continue to do so. Now the only difference that I can see, if, uh, apart from the uh, the different design and the sturdiness, is that on the um, hooks here, there's no plastic protection uh, like the newer model uh, and the the wheels so this is the one that I mentioned earlier uh, I guess it does its purpose but the feeling is not that that great right and uh, but again I think uh, it does the job right it was probably priced a lot cheaper than the new one I can't remember what but this has been discontinued so uh, you can't get it anymore however I do have one unit which is in charcoal left and uh, if you guys are interested especially if you are in Malaysia uh, just give me a call my information is in the description now with regards to this knockoff what I wanted to do was to see whether or not we can build something like this and technically 
Yeah, we could. Uh, you can see there's a lot of um, um, faults uh, with this design. Number one is too high, so it's not practical. And um, it might look the same, but the quality is not right. This was used in a local powerlifting competition meet and this rod right here is already bent just after I, I believe it was just one or two um, events and it shows you know it looks the same it feels the same this is not a very this is not a thin um, piece of metal by any stretch of the imagination but it's already bent um, you can see it from up I mean, I'll show you it's already bent and uh, it also does its purpose, but my experience of trying to produce one of these on my own is that the, the cost is too expensive, especially if you don't have the volume. And um, most of the companies here in Malaysia anyway that sells all these types of equipment, usually just get it off uh, from China. Um, I wanted to see whether or not we can do it in Malaysia. I'm sure we can, but it's just that I've not found the right um, fabricator uh, to do this plus I'm not in the business of making my own equipment and I really don't want to because that's a separate headache in itself uh, I just want to focus on selling um, Eliko as much as possible so there you have it that's it for this Zilfit TV episode on uh, the barbell lifter review um, if you like the video please uh, click that like button if you're new to this channel please do consider to subscribe to us Turn on the notifications so that every time we produce a, a new video that you'll be uh, informed. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in the next Zilfit TV episode. Bye.